wanted to show you how I use Airtable to organize my sewing patterns and my fabric stash. So uh, full, first let's take a look at fabric. I grab a screenshot of any fabric I buy, uh, usually from the website, but some of these are just photos I actually take when I get it and wash it and fold it and take a picture. Um, so it's easy for me to see, it's easy to search. You can, on any of these uh, records, I have tags of the store, the type of fabric, uh, how much I paid for it when I bought it, colors, themes, all this stuff, so I can search it really easily. And uh, then I also usually have this filtered by um, how much left is not gone. So here's not. So once I actually use all of something, instead of deleting the record, I just set it to amount left is gone. And then um, that way I can still, if I want to refer back to what something was, it's a really complete record of what I have and had. Um, then the other bases I use are for sewing patterns. So I'll take a look at kids sewing patterns. And same idea, I have, I grab a screenshot usually from the website. For these, I put uh, even more specific detail to patterns. So I'll put where it's from, if I've used it or not, I have a checkbox. Any terms that I might search for that would relate to this pattern if I have any actual notes about the construction or, or making of it, tags, fabric type. Um, you can also link it to projects, and my project table is a record of both a fabric and a pattern together. So if I don't really use that much, but I could if I was trying to plan out projects. Um, and yeah, this is just a really great way to quickly find something if I'm just looking for uh, what's a good dress. I can, uh, well, let's filter this for category has any of dress and then I can scroll through and quickly glance at all of the kids dress patterns that I have and I like putting the line drawing in there when I can when that is because um, it's really easy at a glance to compare them but of course if you want to look up close you can um, view any of these bigger and let's see I've got bases I can share with you if you want uh, to have all these columns and options in there from what I have. Um, I can share these links in the description. And then some tips. I use the free version so that all of this is completely free but some heads up they do limit each base to a thousand records right now for the free version and they also limit it to one gig of attachments. So for all those pictures you saw on there, I actually hit my limit on um, file size when I was uploading full versions of those pictures. So what I do now is upload screenshots because they're a lot smaller uh, than the full resolution pictures. And then also I split my bases into adult and kids patterns. Um, for I have pattern fabric and striped solid fabric woven and vinyl, panels, all of the machine embroidery patterns, they're all separate bases so that each of these can have up to a thousand records and I'm still within the free plan. So if you have any questions about using Airtable, let me know. I love it um, and it helps me organize all of my stuff and I can view it on my phone, at a glance in the store, whatever it is, I can pull up what I need. So I'm not storing the actual patterns in here. This is just a record of the patterns that I have stored on my Google Drive. All right, thanks.